Во-первых, мы фирма никак ни в чем не заинтересована, кроме First and foremost, we are a company solely interested in the bare truth. Why? Because basically we are competitors, and when we heard about the possibility to carry out such an analysis of what these technologies are supposed to achieve, of course, we provided our best experts. They are two people who have a medical education as well as a technological one, and who are highly skilled in these areas. That means it's the best team we actually have for the integration of the best products of modern science, including the latest technologies in medicine, which we strive to bring to life to serve for the recovery of people. Therefore, we were interested to consider the content of what is happening here, and we, being fresh new specialists, have carried out tests the way we think it's right and not like maybe they had planned it for their purpose of advertising. Thus, we've organized everything to find out what actually happens here and what should really interest every true scientist in the first place. But in the scientific world, there's also a direction, which is a big science itself, which is, it's not possible because it's not supposed to be possible. So we looked at it all and it's been like this. First, we took a look at the patients and the specialists of the center, with their method of clairvoyance. They then told us which problems this patient was having, and we joined in. We used our analytical equipment, and we found absolutely adequate problems. They are right here, very well visually displayed in our devices. This was step one. After that, the specialists of the center carried out their work with these people. We did not participate in this work. After that, again, we used our equipment and recorded everything. Since we are not only technicians, but many of our specialists are also doctors, we know how much effort and time it would take to obtain results, which we have seen here immediately. The word evolution does not only bear reference to any global processes, the large areas of geological materials on Earth, but also to each individual person. And every single person goes through his own individual transformation. Time has come to open the skill of clairvoyance to many people. And I would say that virtually everyone is able to obtain these skills. Today, it spontaneously appears that every fifth or sixth person is able of clairvoyance. Even after the first few episodes of this broadcasting, people reported to us they already had this vision but could not control it and they asked us to teach them how to control it. So, in our center, we have been developing specific trainings that teach some new parts of the brain the neurons to put it in a controllable state. The neurons are trained to operate on mutual consent. Therefore, special methods have been developed. People open up to a new inner power to be able to use, after a certain time, their mental power to effect certain real physical results. For example, by means of this method, one can correct the health of individual human beings. Specifically, in our center, we find that organs which were previously removed from the body through surgery grow up again. That means it is sufficient to send a specific mental impulse to the areas of those chromosomes that are responsible for the previously removed organ, namely by conscious mental focusing. Through this impulse, the rebuilding of that organ is initiated. To this day, we have hundreds of people who have regenerated new organs, which was also confirmed by standardized medical diagnostics. Even more, some people, for example women, who had lost reproductive organs before, have not only restored these organs, but also born children afterwards. 
what shows that the recovered organs fulfill their functions properly. I am Tatiana Mikhailovna Piroshnikova. I want to witness the regeneration of an organ which was done under the influence of bioinformative technologies. In 1992, my uterus was removed with a diagnosis adenoma. Several conventional treatments, including hormonal treatments, brought me nothing except the change of my weight and my well-being. Then, after I read the trilogy Creation of the World by Arkady Petrov and found out that the implementation of regeneration by other methods, not methods of orthodox medicine, but with methods of bioinformative technologies, is possible. I went through two stages of training, and on the second stage of training carried out by Arkady Petrov, the process of regeneration of the uterus started for me when I immediately felt the time exactly when the regeneration was set in motion. First, I felt as if a small sewing machine started to beat on in my inside, where formerly the removed uterus was, and then, supporting the regeneration with mental impulse, I felt bouts of heat and after only four months I had an examination in the medical center of Arcadi's Center of New Technologies in which I was confirmed that my uterus was fully restored and regeneration starting to function inside of me. It is very difficult to believe what is happening, but the methods are working properly because I am not the only person whose organs have been regenerated. We constantly meet and I know other people that grow organs. And not only inner organs, there are also organs such as teeth, growing again and towards outside. In my opinion, the future lies in these technologies. And anyway, these technologies are harmonious for people who want to live indefinitely. Not long ago, I was told that I have become younger by some years. It is very pleasant to hear this because you always want to live, not simply existing, but I want to live artistically. I want to create, learn new and wonderful things. Don't we all just want to live wonderfully in this world? Hello. My name is Sergei Boracci. I live in the Pushkin region of the settlement Shekhezova. In September 2004, in the tuberculosis hospital of the Pushkin region, I was diagnosed with tuberculosis. In January 2005, I turned to the fund of Arkady Petrov, where there was, carried out with the help of bioinformative technologies, the regeneration of my left lung. Then I went through a diagnosis in the Moscow Center of the Development of Medical Systems where the diagnosis of tuberculosis had been cancelled. It is now May 2005. I feel wonderful. I feel fine.